Hello everybody and welcome to Joe's Diner. Um, this is an interesting little game that I found just, you know, like looking through the internet, trying to find interesting games. Um, and this is, uh, you are an employee working at a diner. You've been brought in for the night shift. And what they haven't told you is the diner is on the top of an Indian burial ground. And two chiefs who were buried there, one loved to play pranks on the other to the point of making him super angry and getting angry at everyone in the tribe. So your job is the ghost of the prankster chief will mess with stuff. He'll like topple over lights and turn on TVs and try and make enough noise to wake up the other chieftain. What you have to do is try to clear out all of your duties and make sure everything stays safe and calm without waking him up. Um, I played one night of it to see how it was. It's very cool. It's a very good idea. It feels like what Five Nights at Freddy's should have been. Um, not to say Five Nights at Freddy's is bad, but if they took that concept and expanded it out and made it less um, cheesy, it feels like what it could have been. So I've already played the first night, so I'm going to go into uh, night one or night two. I don't know how many nights there are. Uh, I don't know how many I'm going to play, but for right now, we're going to do this video and maybe another, depending on how interesting it is. But I very much enjoy the game. Uh, from the one night I played, it's a very cool idea, it's a very quirky idea, and it fits very well with the horror setting or the horror uh, mindset. It also, the windows give off very weird reflections when you look out them, plus you're in the middle of a desert, so the whole thing just bleeds atmosphere. And I, I really like that. All right, uh, here we go. I have up in the right-hand corner, as you can see, I have to take care of six uh, leftover meals. And as you can see at the bottom, I have my sound monitor. So I bring the meals in here, throw them in the trash. Things start out very calm and unassuming, but they can slowly get worse and worse. And this is interesting because I typically don't do horror games. <laughs> what was that? Oh, was that the ice machine? Okay, yeah, that was the ice machine. Uh, horror games typically put me on edge, and I don't like to be put on edge. Typically, I'll, I may play a horror game if I'm co-oping it with someone because that takes some of the edge off. But normally, horror games... But um, typically horror games by myself, I don't really do because I get frightened very easily. But this seems like a horror game that's not a horror game. Like it's, it's more, oh God, 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 God. it's more tense than anything else um, because I have not failed. I don't know what happens when the other chieftain comes out. I don't know what kind of spooky, scary stuffs it throws at you. But I. Hmm. Where's the other food trays? There's a bottle. Um, also, there are a few things that I. So, all the objects being manipulated, like turning on without me knowing, are all the prankster god. This is all his doing while I try and put stuff away and clean up. I don't like this room. This room back here gives me the heebie-jeebies. I gotta, I gotta look for the rest of the dishes. Could the other dishes be? Oh my god. Oh 
Hold on. My phone just buzzed in my pocket, and it gave me qu- quite the the fright. Um, oh, that was a whew, that was quite the experience. Um, where are the last two food? Oh, this is great. God damn it! This. <laughs> Friggin' pot of coffee. I also the the name is very unassuming. What? You didn't manage to clear all the Well I know I didn't. Where what Where are the other ones? I'm gonna turn the graphics down a little bit so I don't. My computer's not very powerful as is, and but whenever I have my recording software in the background for some games, it just takes a big old hit, and I don't I don't like that. Um, but in the meantime, while we're here, uh, I guess I could say there are a few more games that I want to start full playthroughs of that I haven't yet. And Haley is still a member of the channel. Uh, you don't have to worry about her not being. Uh, just because she hasn't been in every video that's been posted doesn't mean she's not a member of the channel. She's older than me. She has college stuff that she needs to be, that she is working on that takes a precedent over some of the stuff we do on the channel. But she's still a member of the channel. Uh, that is, that's just some stuff in her life that takes, <laughs> takes precedence. Um, but I am planning on doing a few uh, playthroughs of games that haven't yet been, s- the first episodes have not yet popped up on the channel. Uh, I want to do a full playthrough of I don't remember which, but it will be a Metal Gear game. It's not going to be one that I take... I'm not going to try and 100% that. I'm not going to try and take a huge um, interest in the story because while I appreciate the characters and such, I've never, ever played a Metal Gear game before. So I don't know how much of the story I would really be... Oop, it's on this side. I don't know how much of the story I would really be taking myself in with or trying to get, and I know it's, this night two seems very calm, but I know there's there's more things that go off than just one at a time, and there's more things that go off in general besides the, um, besides just like the coffee pot, because there was uh, the first night that I played through when I wasn't recording, uh, the refrigerator, the coffee pot, and the grill all went off at once, and it was terrifying because it was peeking in the red and I didn't know what to do. Also, me running and my footsteps also make lots of loud noises. God damn it. This stupid thing. And I also, I don't know how to tell how long the night shift is. It said that I that I lost, but I don't know how to tell how long the night shift is. And I have collected all the items, so I believe I just go to the door. And... Now what? Last time I did it as soon as I got to the door, so maybe my time just ran out? I don't know. There's still a lot of rough spots in this game. This is not at all a completely 100% polished game. Uh... Why is it this friggin' coffee pot keeps messing with me? It's the one thing that decides to actually do something. This entire thing is probably the weakest and worst. See, because look, out there there's a desert. That's actually a pretty beautiful environment for an independent game. Um, man. So, uh... Guess, guess I'll... Um, guess I can't, I'm kind of waiting here. Bridge. 
Wait, it's not the fridge? What is it? Oh, I think I know what it is. So, now what? Like I said, this is a game that has a very, it has a good set of ideas, but the execution on them could be, there we go, you survived the night shift. I don't know how long these are. I don't know how long it takes to survive one, so that's very frustrating. A uh, timer would be very helpful in a future update. Seven food items. And it's also weird because it's not a very big map. So, even... Uh-oh. Is that the vacuum? Oh, I'm going in the red. I've never... Red before that was that was a little uh, nothing happened but it, it just kind of put me on edge. Did the fans sound louder. This is a God the vacuum again. I am there. I'm so on edge right now. I don't know what happens when you get in the red. So just the, I, I don't want to know. So just that whole thing, because I need to be quick enough to get it before time runs out, but then I also, I don't want to wake the... the noise is it the, is it the faucet no what the no god no 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 okay okay we're fine everything's fine everything's fine I have a feeling this is like Five Nights at Freddy's where at night three things just get cranked up to an insane degree. You're fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. like this at all. Oh, this is... Mm, mm. Oh, God. Okay, there's the last thing. Oh. That was intense shit, man. Woo! Well, whoo.
All right, um, I am definitely gonna play some more. This, this is a really cool game. I really like it. it oh, I, I've got a little, a chill went up my spine when I did that, when that happened. Oh, um, I'm definitely gonna play some more. This, this is a really cool game. Um, uh, thank you everybody for watching. Like the video if you like the video. Share the video if you wanna share the video. My name is Jacob. You were searching for players and you have connected with one, but now unfortunately, I must disconnect. Thank you everybody for watching, and adios.